Hey you guys, it's Christian. And Vera. And it's Land Rover time. Today, we want to put the video together about fixing our parking brake module. That was interesting. We did this at the same time when we did brake lines and also some underbody paint job. Hopefully that's an interesting video for you. Enjoy watching. <laughs> yeah, you hate the new camera. No, I love it, but <laughs> I have to get used to the buttons. Today, we're gonna remove the parking brake module. Yeah. And service that. Yesterday we did the brake lines, got the old ones out and we have the new ones prepped. Um, we got to get it out, get it serviced, get it cleaned, get the new gear set installed. Did you see how I organized all this here for you? Yes. I got you here a workbench and storage and I, I also set up a time-lapse camera up there so I can later on see if you really moved. First step electric parking brake module is we watched all the videos yesterday. Yeah, I didn't pay attention. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to... Put the electrical parking brake in service mode. Yes. Turn the ignition on. Oh, shit, I hate it when the car is on check stands and we have to do something with it. Something bad just happened. Did it move? I think the check stand moved. I gotta push the brake. <gasps> I don't like those noises. To put the parking brake in service mode, have the ignition on, push the brake, push the parking brake button down, take the key out and leave the parking brake buttons now it's open and now i want to turn the key off and leave it alone and now we got to take the fuse out yes and do you know which fuse it is of course not but it's on the box <laughs> there is also a fuse on the inside in the glove compartment which has a parking brake symbol on it That's you can forget that fuse why because it does not completely disable it so uh, but maybe we need to pull take it out anyway yeah you gotta use this fuse here see am and i going to do now my close-up here yeah there is a close-up fl830 amp so it's this one here yeah one? this one here i see? haven't seen a tool 30 amp this is the fuse yeah and i also took the fuse from the suspension out as we always do yes we did that yesterday so now the parking brake can't actuate anymore um we leave the battery on Still. yeah we only take it off when we are welding on the car <laughs> this is not how i can get you to go underneath the car what do you mean with these pants no, they are really old. They are like 20 years old. Okay, they're brand new. Okay, so what I wanted to show is um, that I got these bolts out here, which nobody else got out so far. Soaked in WD-40 and one more to go. I got the 3 8 inch socket knocked on with a hammer and they actually loosened, believe it or not. So... I can take them out, just hard work. Take the brake caliper off. So I need a 13 millimeter ratchet wrench and the 15 millimeter. Gotta take that wear sensor out. I glued it in last time, see? You got a wire? Yep. Excellent. You didn't take the wire out. You didn't take the wire out from the brakes. <laughs> We're gonna hang it here. Oh, look, they're still brand new. What? Oh. So now we gotta sort them. The red one is on the inside. Well, you have it on video. I don't need to remember that. Okay. So now we gotta get this bracket off. But the boot was broken on that one. Yeah, but then we didn't have the caliper out. So Discussing all this with you <laughs> is more stress than taking these bolts out. And the target is to the disconnect the wire going to the parking brake module. Oh, I still have it wrong. 
There's this clip coming off. I gotta loosen this nut here from that cable, and hopefully, this is not all glued up. Oh, yeah, this is from last time, still loose. We have some WD 40. It's always good to put WD 40 on the brake components. <laughs> exactly. the cable out and this moves easy that's good and now we got to do this on the other side so I take the tools at least then I've done something productive this one we can do off camera right so this is the second side out and this cable is also still moving okay so now we got to take out the emergency release cable which is this one here this cable and this is clipped a couple of times and it's going along here above the drive shaft that's why the heat shield needed to come out and it's going up here into the chassis so now i got the emergency release cable out so the next step is to unfasten the right hand wire so the cable is mounted with two clips on each side and I also had to knock on my 3 8 socket because the 10 millimeter socket would twist. So we got this one out, see? So we mounted a wire here, which follows the parking brake cable, so we can mount it later on. So, so we don't we... screw up, you mean? Yeah. So, we can so also here on the inside, see the cable? The wire follows the parking brake cable here. It's, there's also a clip up here. And then I put it exactly where the parking brake cable runs to make sure we put it exactly in the same spot again. And then I got the cable here tight because uh, I can't get there with a hammer. A socket extension would work. You got it? Yes. Yes, that's the right one. It took me only like 20 years to learn that stuff. What are you doing? Putting the socket on, on this hex head screw. Oh. We're gonna do this off camera. Okay. Yeah. So stop recording. See, I got this cable clip here, and I simply put the ratchet over here, and then I knocked on my 3 8 inch socket, and we're ready to go again without any hassle. I can see. Yeah. There's the wire. Oh. And now yeah. we can maneuver this thing out. I don't think so. Now I can pull these out because I got them all marked. It's going to come out now. You don't need to hold it. I'm afraid. Do you, are you sure I don't have to hold it? No, you don't need to hold it. See, I got it here. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. 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 Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was on my airline. Oh, shit. <laughs> so most people put it out through the side. Yeah. Through the right hand side. I was hoping you grab it because oh. it's... Man, why didn't you say anything? Man. So, that was difficult, I would say. Um, let's take it in the workshop. Yeah. So I know you guys think we Germans eat sauerkraut and bratwurst every day. And we do. And to show you it's not true, we only eat bratwurst today, okay? There it is, looking like new. This side. I think this left hand thread. Yeah. There it is. Now I can move this over. Turn this plug off here. Yeah. We gotta move this back. Oh, that was easy. And now this gotta come out. Now we gotta take the motor off. There. 
And now we can take the gearbox out. Like problems. So there's the gearbox. And we want to check out the gears inside. So. Oh boy. <gasps> well, the grease is old. These gears look like new. Oh. So we bought 120 euros of spare parts for nothing. Yeah, you know? it, won't, it won't fail. So there are the new parts. So I put the one-way clutch in a plastic bag and then I take this piece off and this way the pieces, it. you got it? The yeah. pieces are not flying away and this was in the Britpart video. Yeah. So very smart guy. The clutch spring. Okay, we grease this up. Grease. Now we gotta put this back together. Now we gotta figure out how this was assembled. And this goes in here. For 120 euros, I would have thought this is perfect. Perfect. Um, this is the wrong way. This fits perfect. Which one was the new one? Perfect. Well, it does have less play than before. So now we're gonna grease it up. So we grease this all up. A little bit on the bearing. And a little bit more. No, that's no? good. And this goes back together. Done. <sighs> now we're gonna run it to make sure the gearbox is running all smoothly. How are we gonna run it? With a power source. There's our motor. <gasps> well, it is turning, you yeah, can of see course it here. It is. Get so the that's enough stuck. to spread the grease around. Yeah. And we'll put it back together. You, you gotta go over to your filming spot without falling down the stairs. <laughs> Everybody wrote we have to take this thing out and service it. Now we did. And <clears throat> it is for sure a good thing. Well, the grease was all messed up. The grease was a little bit greasy, I think. Yeah. And like so. Like so. Like. Is this somehow crazy in one particular orientation? This moves now nicely back and forth. Flat cable gotta go back in here. This gotta go back in here. So we got the flat cable nicely routed here. This is moving very nicely and freely. We can put some grease here. Yes, please. Some grease here and some grease here. So this cover got to go with this notch into this notch here. It goes like this in the car, so it has to go on like this, which makes this notch the one being up. Anything down, this got to go in here. Click. That's it. Put a little bit of grease on this O-ring. So what I have to make sure it, that this cable sits in this notch and once it's in there I can't turn it anymore and tight now the other cable it's the one with the five turns it gotta go in five turns I'm now completely stressed there's, there's the notch you see it yeah then I can put this notch in like this and make this hand tight don't use a tool. Yeah, that's what the guy from Britpart. Britpart said. He said hand tighten it. I gotta get probably most of this out. This is at least 20 years old. So let's see if this works. So I cleaned this groove out nicely. You can see all that dust. And I re cleaned this lip here nicely. Yeah. And now we're gonna, my intention is to put a good bead in here. Look at that, it's coming out of the bag. <laughs> Close this bag up. So, this is nicely around it. So now we put new bolts in for 120 euros. So we just drill in from the bag 
we drill them out. And that's where these pieces will go back on, like so, and like so. For viewers, I didn't see what we just Yes, we, I show you. This and this. This is a rubber dampener, mm. yeah? A rubber wow, mount. You're too fast, man. Yeah, because everybody knows what they look like. Here, okay. So that broke. Yeah, it was completely it, gone. It was completely gone. Yeah. Good, we're done with this thing. What do we do with this? Well, you put it back in the box. For another 20 years? Yes. So, now let's put the parking brake module back in. Now we got the module now, exactly where it was before. Scratched up my new coating here a little bit. Now we gotta fasten down all the cable ties and we gotta install this bracket here. And we got brand new bolts installed. And this clip got to go on, and this clip got to go on. So you got yourself a coffee? Yes. Oh, next time we park the car differently, or we're gonna enlarge our trench. And this thing was kind of folding down and rubbing on our drive shaft. So that was close. And I put a tie wrap on. How much effort was that? Right there, it was almost rubbing through. This is the emergency release cable, and that is so nicely done from Land Rover. It got these rubber grommets, and they fit exactly where they belong. It just goes in here, there, and then it goes in here, twist it, and done. Beautiful. And is it like watertight? Water normally flows from the mountains down to yeah, the valleys. Yeah, but what if we go through a fort? Yeah, yeah. So here I got the brake lines nicely routed and connected. And here I got this now coated with wax, all the cavities. See, I got this wrapped with aluminum foil against the heat. Okay, you can turn it now. Very well. This is the best tightened bolt in the entire car. It's better than an automatic ratchet. Tight. Good. Coat the cable with copper grease. Also into the hole. Tight. The spring over the parking brake cable goes on like this. Okay. There. Sitting in this little notch here. Brake shoe is on. Coat all contact points with anti-seize or high temperature grease. Put the clip on with the closed end towards the adjuster wheel, which will be down here. Put a light coat of anti-seize on the adjuster wedge. Put it back in position. Tighten it. So now it's it's even so. here. So later on I loosen this bolt and this wedge jumps down by the spring. Put a tie wrap around here so the spring stays back. Don't want to forget to cut this tie wrap off later on. There. With the spring held back, we insert this with this weird shape towards the parking release cable. Then we lever this in here. Put the second clip on with the closed end facing the adjuster wheel. And your wife is uh, completely frustrated how difficult all this is. No, I'm not. So what about the tie wrap? Oh, shit. There it is. Yeah, because on the other side we forgot to take it off completely and we had to take the brake disc off again and <laughs> get it out. The adjuster wheel on the left hand side goes in like this. Okay, put the last spring in without overstretching it. There. Done. We clean the brake pads with a clean cloth and we clean the disc brake. 
And we put this on. This bolt here was precisely 35 Newton meters. I have it on 35. Oh, you have it on 35? Of course. Oh, wow. And we tighten this to 35. But we didn't do that on the other side. Okay, now we look for the adjuster wheel. Wait. Okay. And we tighten the adjuster wheel until the disc jams. <laughs> this is exactly the spot where it jams. What I gotta do now is mark it with paint. It's in there. Just look. So I use a Q-tip and a little bit of ink. You don't need to show that. People need to trust me. Yes, but I have to do something. I got one tooth marked. And now I turn it back exactly one turn. Of course, I forgot the direction. But I think it was, I think it was this way. No, was it this way or that way? This way. <laughs> Yeah, now my white one is forward again. So now I got it exactly one revolution loosened. And what I got to do now, first I got to set it a little. Now I adjust this hole in front of the adjuster wedge. So there is now this Allen bolt behind it. And now I let this adjuster wedge jump in by loosening the Allen bolt. I need to change battery. And tighten this with exactly six newton meters. Yes, I have exactly five percent. I put this plug on with silicone. Perfect. Yeah. We fasten the caliper mounting bracket. And we tighten these to 115 newton meter. 20. Done. Brake pads and install them in the same spot as they were originally. Apply a light coat of high temperature grease and then we put the caliper back in. Caliper mounting bolts, 35 Newton meter. You're sitting on my power ratchet. Oh. I'm gonna take the, test the electrical parking brake now. We should have done that a long time ago. And you forgot to tell me. I'm glad, it's always my fault. Should I plug in the uh, air suspension also right away? <laughs> Can you turn the uh, heater off? <laughs> so now let's record the sound. Wait, I'll go underneath. It sounds perfect. <laughs> oh, it sounds scary. <laughs> It sounds absolutely perfect. Okay, but and you're going to no use point. it so much, you're going to break it again. No, so. we're going to use this now every day. Before, you always got in trouble when you... Every did, single time yes, when he... you did apply the parking brake. Was... Now you're going to get in trouble if you don't apply it. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Wait a second. Maybe that's just the way it works. Okay, you know what we did wrong? <laughs> Don't say so. We left the window open when I did all the grinding. Look, the entire car. Let's try the brakes. Oh, you're gonna do some <laughs> stupid brake test now. No. Yeah. Okay. Ah, you. <laughs> well, I did an emergency stop. It was all on purpose. <laughs> okay. Okay, I need to make sure that when I get a heart attack that you can pull the switch and the car stops. Yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something new. Maybe you learned how not to do it or how to do something better. <laughs> but for us, this was not a small job. Thanks for watching and see you next time. See you next time. <laughs>